good to go. I am Cookie Masterson, and I am the face of the multi-billion dollar industry that is humorous trivia. Listen, don't worry, I find that most people enjoy playing alone. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Look, mole Americans hate terrorism and love freedom just as much as human Americans. Trust us, we're not up to anything. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Right off the bat, Candy Crushed. Ah, I can't stop playing Candy Crush. It's like heroin. At first it was great, but now I hate it and it's ruining my life. If Candy Crush really is like heroin, what should I play to wean myself off of it? Barbital Crush Saga, Methadone Crush Saga, Zoplicone Crush Saga, or Methamphetamine Crush Saga? Methadone is used for, among other things, drug detox programs. Methadone isn't cheap, but it can't be more expensive than these $70,000 worth of app helpers I bought for Candy Crush. Thank God this game's free, otherwise can you imagine how much I would have spent by now? Here's a good one. Motley Shoe. And let's step into a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, tell me if it's a metal band from the 1980s and 90s, or a style of women's boots. If it's a metal band, press the Y button. If it's a style of women's boots, press the A button. All right, let's get started. Gladiator. Firehouse Bondage Cinderella Wedge Keel Winger It wasn't as good as a Cinderella concert, but really, what is? I'm no expert, but the best thing about women's boots is they make my ass look great. And on its way, so many disgusting ways to be American. It's the put the choices into order and buzz in and see if you are right. Question. You know the drill, if you get this one right, I'll send some extra cash your way. Put these movies in chronological order based on the time period they're set in, from earliest to latest. American Hustle, American Pie, American Psycho. Pie Psycho Hustle, Psycho Hustle Pie, Hustle Psycho Pie, or Pie Hustle Psycho. Not much time left. Yep, this is the order these movies came out in. It's just too bad I didn't ask for the order the movies came out in. <laughs> Wanna see the right answer? American Hustle is set in the 70s, American Psycho is set in the 80s, and American Pie is set in the late 90s, early 2000s. The 70s, 90s, and 2000s. Three different decades where Eugene Levy has played the exact same role. <laughs> And now, remove the stitches after 1001 Arabian Nights. What would be different about Aladdin's genie if he magically gave himself a genioplasty? He would have a bigger chin, he would have firmer breasts, he would have a lifted butt, or he would have smaller ears. <laughs> Sorry to let you down. Ah! Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. A genioplasty is a type of plastic surgery where the chin is augmented with an implant. 
Oh, I wish I had a genie. Your wish is my command. <sighs> All I have is this lousy genie sound effect. Your wish is my command. I call this one Flab Roller. How might a professional bowler respond if someone were to ask him how he manages to stay in such wonderfully below average shape? Rolling balls down a 28 foot lane is great for the beer gut. Rolling balls down a 63 foot lane keeps my back fat firm. Rolling balls down a 104 foot lane really tones the jowls. Or rolling balls down a 456 foot lane works my cankles. Time's a wasting. A regulation bowling lane is 63 feet long from the foul line to the pin deck. I consider bowling good exercise. I mean, sure, gravity and momentum do 90% of the work getting the ball down the lane, but that other 10%, that takes some real slight arm movement. Let's say so long to round one. And lucky for you, there's room for improvement. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And remember, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Let's get back to the action. Take a stab at... A three-day getaway to beautiful Valhalla! Suppose Dante returns after his travels in the Divine Comedy and starts posting pictures to Facebook. What is he most likely to write about his second destination? Here's me in heaven, here's me in purgatory, here's me in hell, or here's me in Toledo. Watch your clock! Never heard of giving it that old college try. This would have been a nice choice. In the Divine Comedy, Dante's first stop is hell, and his third stop is heaven. And in between, his second stop is purgatory. It's funny to put pictures of purgatory on Facebook, because endlessly scrolling through a Facebook feed full of vacation pics is actually what they make you do in purgatory. Question 7! Get up and shake your mind. Why not try... Hey, wig spender. Hold on, I'm just going over my credit card bill. Who the hell spent $400 at the wig shop? I did, Danny. Billy O'Brien? No, Daddy O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Who's the dummy? Not me. Billy. Daddy. Betty, how could you spend so much on wigs? I'm, I'm trying to get my hair just right. I want to resemble Audrey Hepburn. Oh, speaking of which, what hairstyle must I get in order to look like Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast at Tiffany? A Dufont, a Tagestoy, a Turn, or an Utdo? <laughs> Audrey Hepburn famously had an utdo in breakfast at Tiffany's. Well, Betty, I must say the pixie cut looks very good on you. Oh, thank you. Why don't we go back to my place and mess around? Uh... Billy, Betty, is your hair... Is that moss? Yes, it is. That explains the smell. Pretty alluring, is it not? Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Here's one for you. Gone with the Vin. Let's say all Vin Diesel movies can be put into two categories. Ones where his acting relies on grunting, or ones where his acting relies on sneering. What kind of chart should I use to find the movies where he both sneers and grunts? A Vin Diesel Vin Diagram, a Vin Diesel Venn Diagram, a Vin Diesel Vin Diagram, or a Vin Diesel Van Diagram? <laughs> Venn diagrams, spelled V-E-N-N, -N, feature circles that contain a set of data. In this case, where the circles overlap in the middle is where you'll find those awesome movies that have both grunting and sneering. 
And if there's one thing a Vin Diesel fan loves, it's using charts to analyze complicated data. Woohoo! Say hello to Reduce, Reuse, Reheat. It seems like a lot of factories are going green these days. I don't like it. If there aren't plumes and smoke coming out of factory chimneys, then what are street urchins gonna choke on? Anyway, it got me wondering. If the Cheesecake Factory went completely green, what would be the only sauce they'd offer? Hollandaise sauce, chimichurri sauce, mole sauce, or bechamel sauce? It's so obvious. Made from parsley, the Argentinian sauce chimichurri has a bright green tint. And I like a lot of sauce on my cheesecake. Mmm, saucy cheesecake. No, mole is not your friend. But moles will be with this. T-shirts of a mole holding an American flag, just like the one you won from the Alliance of Mole People for a Better America. Blindly follow us to a better tomorrow. This wrong answer of the game has earned you a sweet 8,000 clams. Well done. It's time for... Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? Known to reach over 20 feet tall. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? <laughs> the planet Uranus is way, way over 20 feet tall. I mean, it's at least 30 feet tall. Probably more. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see it up close. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 big ones if you're right, 2,000 gone if you're wrong, and of course... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Let's get Randy. Who's your Randy fella? Good luck! She wrote! We used to have a cell grip who worked for us named Randy. I wonder whatever happened to him. I still work here, Cookie. Hmm. It's almost like I can feel his presence even though he's gone. But Cookie, I'm standing right in front of you. Yes, Randy. Yes, you are. I miss you, big guy. You don't know Jack! Gang! 
have you felt tired from all that racket and ballyhoo from the so-called music festivals that the teenage beatniks and ruffians do? Well, isn't it time to hop to having the music festival that go darn plays real music that mature adults and grown-up older people like all of us and you can enjoy? Then come on down to the Hutchinson Community Park for Jaron Palooza. We got Jerry Gorkin's medium-sized band, the Waltz the Hollicks, assorted Bob Hope impersonators, the sounds of the Price is Right, the Muzak Ramblers, Wind Chimes, Bingo, McDonald's Coffee, and a half dozen music boxes that play music. All the fun times and goings about begins at 7 a.m. this Thursday. And don't you worry, Missy, it's over by 2, so you have plenty of time to ski that on home before the drug dealers come out and deal their their drugs. Take it from me, old man. Hey, can I take this microphone home with me? Huh? Do what? Yeah, okay, I'll just put it down. Hi, I'm John Taylor, and starting today, get a free suit at John Taylor's Suit Emporium. Wow, how do I get a free suit? Just buy two suits and get a free suit upon purchase of your third suit. So I buy three suits and I get one free? Yes, purchase that third suit, and one of your previously purchased suits becomes free. So I buy two suits, purchase one more suit, and then my first suit is free? No, the third suit is free, and the first two suits are full price, but by one one more suit and it's free but i'm paying for three suits and come in between two and four and get 50 percent off of